You're watching Inside the Huddle presented by Community Coffee. I'm Emily Dixon and this week we are joined with senior safety Jacoby Stevens after coming off one of the most memorable wins I can remember in a long time versus the Florida Gators. But going back to that week leading up to the Florida game, Coach O said that he really felt like going through practices that this team was blocking out the noise. Mm. Friday night at the team hotel, he thought the same thing. What was going through the mind of everybody on this team getting ready for that game in Gainesville? I mean, I think the team just knew, knew that we had to stick together. Uh, I mean, it, the majority of this team was on the team last year where everybody was talking really good about us. I mean, you could, I know it, it was a sin to talk bad about LSU 2019 and then we had this uh, year happen and it, it didn't go our way. And um, we just knew that, you know, everything's not going to go your way and adversity hit and you just have to bounce back. And um, I guess for us, we just use that as motivation of it's kind of, you know, um, our backs are against the wall and we and we saw that we we're the only people that we have so we just use that to our advantage. Well you bounced back in a very big way beating <laughs> the number six team in the country on the road. You yourself had some big plays. Mm -hmm. Defense really buckled in and had a great game. A shoe was thrown. A 57 <laughs> yard field goal to win the game but when you look back at all of these memories from this one this one matchup what do you remember most about the Florida game? Um, I think you hit it on the head. I think the kick by uh, Cade was like my favorite memory. Um, I mean, because this is the whole deal of him kicking that and making it right down the middle in that fall. Basically blind. Basically blind, because I, I, like I uh, said, um, that, that Sunday morning I come watch film and I turn into the end zone copy and I was like, there's no way he's supposed to make that kick. There's no way. And, I, and I'm like, like if he would have missed it, I would have gave him like I, I, you know, I couldn't even get mad if he missed that kick, but he made it, and it was like not to the right or to the left; it was right down the middle. So I'm like, man, he's good. <laughs> yeah, he's he's been very good oh, for yeah, the for the Tigers. What does a win, that specific win versus Florida, say about this team, this 2020 football team that is stuck together, all of you guys until mm -hmm. the end? Well, um, Coach Oak kind of hit it on the head throughout the entire week. Uh, uh, going back to um, it's kind of crazy. Going back to my freshman year. We come off the loss of, uh, with Troy. Mm -hmm. We're going to Gainesville. And, you know, it was kind of, uh, after the loss of Troy, it was kind of, uh, you know, we kind of came together as a team and bashing against the wall just like this year. Mm -hmm. And Coach O always goes back to that moment, even last year, goes back to that moment saying that was the building blocks of making a, a championship team. So I, I, I think it's funny how it comes full circle. You know, it started my freshman year and now, you know, my, now it's my senior year. So hopefully, hopefully next year, but you know, years down the road, I can be wherever the national championship is on the sideline cheering on the Tigers. Okay, so up next, Ole Miss comes to town. They have a very high powered offense, but so did Florida. So what kind of confidence boost did this defense get when you rise to the challenge and the occasion of going up against Kyle Trask and the Gators? I feel like we have a lot of talent on defense. It's just the execution part. And uh, um, see it on film and to have that type of uh, stuff on tape that we can do that together uh, versus a number six Florida team with a Heisman candidate, um, a really electric receiver in uh, Tony. It gives us a lot of confidence to come play um, an Ole Miss team that looks the exact same with a really good tight end, a really good quarterback, and a really good uh, receiver. So um, it, it, it's the confidence boost that we needed to come in and try to uh, play and beat Ole Miss. Okay, nothing's been normal about your senior season here at LSU. We've got a December 19th game. Right. <laughs> last one of the season. And for you as a senior night, senior day versus Ole Miss, joking, save the best interview for last. I've always enjoyed our Inside the Huddles, but what are your emotions and expectations going to be suiting up with your brothers in purple and gold? in Death Valley for likely You're trying to make time. me cry. Nah, I'm not gonna cry. Then I'll be good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. But, uh, man, um, yeah, I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying to get emotional, but uh, it's gonna be emotional. I mean, I've been here for four years. I mean, this is all I knew, you know, mm -hmm. LSU and training and going, you know, going through hill with Coach Moffitt on, during the summers and it all paying off during the season. And I don't know, I, it's gonna, I'm really gonna miss it. and. Uh, I'm looking forward to it and not looking for it. It's bittersweet, so yeah, I'm trying my best not to get all emotional on camera, but it, I'm gonna be really emotional on Saturday. Well, it might be your last time suiting up on the field, but it definitely will not be oh, for you coming back oh, on the sidelines not. and visiting us for years to come. Definitely not, definitely not. I'll, I'll be back a lot. 
Well, good luck on Saturday, and I'll see you out there and see if we can get some cheers. <laughs> and thank you for watching this week's Inside the Huddle, presented by Community Coffee, the state coffee of Louisiana, and official coffee of the LSU Tigers.